Hello everyone, uh, following my previous video I, on image annotation, today I'm going to introduce the other two annotation or labeling tools. As I mentioned before, uh, we have three annotation types. Uh, one which is boundary annotation was uh, discussed in our uh, first uh, video. And uh, today I'm going to introduce to you and discuss with you about uh, boundary annotation and classification annotation. Uh, actually, bounding box annotation is about drawing a rectangle or a square or uh, in general a bounding box around the objects of uh, interest, objects of uh, your interest in the image, as you can see here. Okay, let's uh, try it and see how it works. I go to Demo tab. I need to upload a few images here. I already have four here. And Okay, and then we, we can click annotate all okay uh, imagine I'm interested in uh, detecting faces and facial elements here uh, I draw a bonding box around the face and then I uh, define a new class which is which I call face and then for the two eyes I do the same I and the other one and I repeat the same process for nose and also mouth Okay, we're done. Let's go to the next image. I will repeat the same here. I have the classes already, so it will be very fast. See, this is a very f uh, easy and uh, fast uh, task to do. If you have a, a good uh, tool, okay, done. That's it. Let's see. Yes, we have we have uh, the labels for all the uh, images. Um, at the end, I can do uh, two things. I can export the results or I can save the environment if I think, okay, I, I'm going to add more images and then finally I can export. Uh, let's today try this uh, save environment. And then uh, if, if I want to continue annotating in another day, I can go to the My Annotations page and I can find my, my current task here by clicking on edit I have it and then I can uh, add more images and finally I can uh, uh, export the results the bonding box files the classes and draw images let's ha have a look at them You see, there is a one, there is one JSON file for each of the images that I have. That you can find the uh, for for each uh, class, you can find the X and uh, Y uh, locations of the the points of the bonding box uh, that we draw, and you can use this file very easily for your um, deep learning tasks and training the networks as you are interested. Okay, let's go to the last annotation uh, type that we have here, which is called classification annotation. 
Uh, this is actually a form of annotation where you tag the whole image uh, as one or more classes. We call this classification annotation uh, because um, uh, it, it, one of its uh, most uh, or uh, the main application of it is in classification tests. Okay, again, let me uh, upload the images here. I could s save them in my share space. And then I'll use the share here, but now let's upload them and click on the annotate all. Here I have, I can define the classes, uh, uh using, uh, uh, the tool that I have here on the right side. Uh, let's define face or, for example, female and male. Okay. Uh, okay, for for each image, you can I can just simply click on the uh, text that is it is corresponding to that image. Uh, actually, I can also uh, upload a text file which contains the name the, the the titles of the classes that I'm interested in, and also I can just write them down here. Let's go to the next image face. And mail. You can use multiple tags for each image. And done. Okay, I have all these uh, these uh, tags here. And finally, you can export the results similar to the other two types of the images. Uh, two types of annotations. Uh, okay, we're done. If you find, uh, if you have found this uh, video informative, please let me know. Thank you.